in the sleepless and rest. Oh, you guys see this divorce court ungrateful woman? She even says that, that her husband was like a great man, but she divorced him because he's too nice. Yeah. Let's see if this one plays. Yeah, try to tell him that. This one's, oh, I'm a good man. I'm a nice guy. I'm tired of these douchebags treat me like shit. No, you don't. You don't want a fucking nice guy. Because that's boring. You want exactly. the fucking drama and the thrill and the excitement. And now join Rashida Lucas and T.P. Lucas as Judge Lynn hears their case. Mr. Lucas, you have brought Mrs. Lucas here to court in order to recover either a, your 2000 Camry that you said you upgraded or the value of the upgrades that you put in the Camry that you say she took. And I know that you're wearing sunglasses, which usually is not permitted in a courtroom, but I understand that you have an eye issue, glaucoma, and the lights are bothering you. Mr. Lucas, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me how we got here and why it is you needed to come to court to get this car back? Well, um, Your Honor, I was, we, everything, there was nothing wrong. Nothing. You know, everything was normal at my house. Everything was normal? And nothing wrong. Nothing. But she had told me, baby, I'll be back. And she left. You know, this was back in November. Mrs. Lucas? Mr. Lucas says you had a great relationship. Yes, we had a wonderful relationship. Why don't you tell me what was wonderful about it? I was wonderful. Um, we were like best friends. I believe, you know, he's my soulmate. Everything was fine except... Except? Yeah, he was too nice. <laughs> Nice. How does one be too nice to one's wife? <laughs> he was too nice, like it was scary nice. You know, <laughs> it was like you know, you know the people that, that, that it was like stalkerish nice, like you too nice. Just to be an example, because because I, I I cannot conceive of the world that you have structured for me here. Right, I mean you know too nice like you know, when he would say I love you, and it was like I was like okay, I was waiting for the punch when you go kick me. It's scary. Some people just, you know, just, you can be nice, but Mrs. you can be Lucas, too nice. you're going to have to do better than that. Mm -hmm. He told you he loved you, and this was a problem. You put up your hands like, when is the punch going to come? You've been married for five years. Has he punched you yet? No. no. He doesn't man. punch you. He's a wonderful man. Yes, I'm just not so used to that. that I love you is too much for you. It's, it's not too much, but you don't have to tell me, like, twice a week. <laughs> Why is the leak? It's too much. Uh, can't figure that. That's so if I found you a brother that would run around on you, call your names, and smack you upside the head, you'd be in heaven. No, I'm not have to call me names or smack me, but... <laughs> he can run around on you. No, not that either, but... What do you want from a man, Mrs. Lucas? <laughs> she She told me that's what she wanted. What did she tell you she wanted? Well, she told me she wanted somebody to, 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 to cherish her and, and to know, run around on her. She, you know, all the things that a good man and a good woman should want out of each other. We agreed that because I had been married before. And my my ex-wife, oh my goodness, she scared me. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever did it again, it was going to be better than any other marriage. And I made the promise to, for keeps. This wasn't to be playing around. You know, and if nothing's wrong, where are you going? You know, it's, it's a...